Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to interactively debug your software AG web methods flow service. We will also cover how to use built-in services to help debug your services. So let's get started. First we need to open our code in the designer tool and review it. I've already started my designer tool to save some time. When designer starts, you want to make sure you are in the service development perspective. In this tutorial, we have a pilot integration for processing a purchase order. The flow service, process order, which is responsible for handling the order, receives the order by subscribing to JMS messages. This can be seen when looking at the JMS trigger. JMS messages in this integration contain an XML string holding the order data. Unfortunately, there is an error in the code and that causes it to fail. Our mission is to improve the code. Open the flow by double clicking on it and let's examine the code. As it can be seen, the pseudocode is as follows. Receive a purchase order as a JMS message which contains an XML string consisting of the order data. Sets the variable today to today's date. Converts the XML string XML node, converts XML node to a purchase order document. Invoke calc total cost service which will create an output purchase order document called outPO. It calculates the total cost, sets the order number, and sets the order status in out PO document. It then will set the current date in out PO as the order date. And it will finally reply to the JMS message. Let's test the integration by running the service test process order. This service will send a JMS message containing an order so it can be picked up by our processing service. Double click on the service to open it. And right click on an empty spot in the flow service. Choose run as run flow service. I've already prepared the input value which is an XML string containing an order. This XML string corresponds to the format of our NPO document. The service has now finished executing and we can see the status no reply received in the results tab. This is because our send and wait invocation call timed out as it can be seen from the code. Let's find out why by start debugging our code. Before starting our debug session, we will use the designer tool to add a save pipeline to file step to the beginning of the process order service. This is a very common and useful debugging service. In production environment, our process order service will normally be invoked when a client sends a JMS message containing the order. And because of this asynchronous behavior, we would be unable to step through the service to debug it. However, in this case, we can save the pipeline on file and restore it using another built-in service later on. In this way, we can debug the integration one service call at a time. We set the file name input parameter to process order. 
Run the test process order again. Now the pipeline will get saved on file named process order when the JMS message is received by the process order service. To start debugging the service and find the error, we will now need to disable the save pipeline to file and add another service to restore the pipeline, namely restore pipeline from file. We should set the file name to process order. Don't forget to save the flow service. To start our debug session, we now right click in an empty area in the flow service and choose debug as debug flow service. The developer tool will now suggest changing the perspective to debug perspective. Accept this suggestion by clicking yes. The debug session is now started as it can be seen in the debug tab. Use the step over button to debug the code step by step which will quickly help us pinpoint the offending flow step. Pay close attention to the tab's variables. In this tab you can view the variables and their values in the pipeline as the flow is being debugged step by step. After stepping over the last map step in the flow, we can notice that the debug execution terminates. This means that the code encountered an unrecoverable error and could not continue. By examining the result tab, we can get more information about the error. As it can be seen there, there is something wrong with the invocation of the service format date. Let's correct the error. Save and run a new debug session. As it can be seen, the service now behaves correctly when we step over the last map step. Now, let's run the test process order after disabling the built-in debug services. As indicated by the result tab, the integration is now working correctly. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please visit optica.com for more nuggets of useful information.